Good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayer on Tuesday, the 26th of May. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender. I'm the Senior Pastor of Mount Pleasant Baptist Church here in Northampton. Thank you for joining me and trust you've had a good day. You've enjoyed the good weather and that you've been able to enjoy knowing that you're loved and that you've been in the presence of the Lord today. Let's bow our heads, shall we, as we gather together and remember the presence of the Lord with us now. Psalm 58 Do you indeed decree what is right, you gods? Do you judge people fairly? No. In your hearts you devise wrongs, your hands deal out violence on earth. The wicked go astray from the womb, they err from their birth, speaking lies. They have venom like the venom of a serpent, like the deaf adder that stops its ear, so that it does not hear the voice of charmers or of the cunning enchanter. O oh God, break the teeth in their mouths, tear out the fangs of the young lions, O oh Lord. Let them vanish like water that runs away, like grass let them be trodden down and wither. Let them be like the snail that dissolves into slime, like the untimely birth that never sees the sun. Sooner than your pots can feel the heat of thorns, whether green or ablaze, may he sweep them away. The righteous will rejoice when they see vengeance done. They will bathe their feet in the blood of the wicked. People will say, surely there is a reward for the righteous. Surely there is a God who judges on earth. Thanks be to God for his word. Let us pray. Lord God Almighty, you have revealed your goodness to us and proclaimed your name among us. Thank you for revealing your glory. Lord, you have mercy on us and compassion, and in Christ you forgive our sins. Thank you that you hide us in the cleft of the rock and cover us with your hand. Thank you, Lord, that you know us by name, and in Christ we have found favour in your sight. This evening may we know your presence with us, and will you give us, Lord, your rest. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All-seeing God, teach us to be open with you about our needs, to seek your support in our trials, to admit before you our sins, and to thank you for all your goodness. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. So then, in the quiet of this evening hour, let each one of us confess our sin to Almighty God. So may the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon and remission of all our sins, give us time for amendment of life, and bring us the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In evening prayer we have been reading through the first 
epistle of John and this evening we arrive in chapter 4 at verse 11. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Saviour of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God and they abide in God. So we have known and believe the love that God has for us. God is love and those who abide in love abide in God and God abides in them. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness on the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, for fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. We love because he first loved us. Those who say, I love God and hate their brothers or sisters are liars. For those who do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. The commandment we have from him is this. Those who love God must love their brothers and sisters also. Thanks be to God for his word. And so the nature, the character, the essence, the behaviour of God is laid bare in these verses. It is love. And those in whom God lives must also love. The essence of their lives, their behaviour, their thoughts, their words, their actions must also be loving. Those who say, John writes, I love God and hate their brothers or sisters are liars. For those who do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. <clears throat> it was said by Bishop John Taylor of Winchester that if you want to know what God is like then look at Jesus. And so if people want to know what God is like today they will look at us. So in our words, in our thoughts, but especially in our deeds, may people see that we love those around us as an expression, as an example of worship of the God whose very nature is love. Amen. <clears throat> Let's confess our faith together as we say the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 
Let us pray. This evening we pray for the nation and for the church in Guinea and for the work especially of BMS World Mission there. Guinea is a country where more than half the population live on less than one pound a day. It's a country rich in mineral reserves with fertile soil and yet it's one of the poorest countries in the world. So tonight we pray for relief work there. For those mission and aid workers seeking to encourage small businesses. And for those who seek to build the church in this part of sub-Saharan Africa. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our government and for its advisers at this time, particularly those who seek to advise on medical or scientific matters. And we pray for wisdom, integrity and humility in all they seek to do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Now we pray for ourselves and those we know personally in a moment of quiet prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We share together in saying the Lord's Prayer in whatever language or form is common to us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. O Lord our God, thank you for bringing this day to a close. Thank you for giving us rest in body and soul. Your hand has been over us and has guarded and preserved us. Forgive our lack of faith and any wrong that we have done, and help us to forgive all those who have wronged us. May we sleep in peace under your protection, and keep us from all the temptations of darkness. Into your hands we commend our loved ones, and all who dwell around us, and to you we entrust ourselves, body and soul. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you, and remain with you and with those whom you love, and with God's people everywhere this night and for evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me for prayer this evening. Thank you for praying for me. Please continue to pray for me and for each other. And please keep safe. Please continue to observe all social distancing and uh, safeguarding measures during this time. And uh, I look forward to joining with you again tomorrow morning at 9am when we'll continue in our readings through Psalm 119. Until then, may God bless you with rest and sleep and peace tonight. And I look forward to meeting with you in the morning. Good night and God bless. <laughs>